good morning students good morning to all so yesterday we have studied some of the rights of partners if you remember okay just five minutes we will just remind about the rights of partnership after that we will go to the next concept okay so first right of the partners is right to take part in business so the all the partners have the right to take part in their business and they have able to take all the decision related to their business activities you can even they take part the daily basis of the business next is right to be consulted so all the partners having the rights to be consulting with the other partners so every partner has the right to be consulted in all the matters concerning the firm so the decision of the majority will prevail in all the routine matters so if they want to take in of the decision in the routine routine matters so some of the majority decision is enough but in the same time where the matter is of fundamental importance such as the admission of new partners change in the nature of business etc decision must be unanimous if any of the partners want to bring the new partners within the existing business organizations a change in the nature of the business so the consulting or the decision or the consent of all the partners must be have the unanimous next is rights of access to book record and document so every partners has the right to access the books are maintained in the business organizations and record and all type of the accounts and documents is able to access but in the same time if any of them need to take a copy also is allowed in this business organizations so normally when we are contacting any of the business organizations will be maintain some of the books and accounts and some of the records and document everything you know so all the books and accounts and documents is access and checked by all the members and if any of them need to take the hard copy they can take it next right to share profit so the all the partners are having the rights to share in their profit for that before making the agreement they have to mention the ratio of the sharingness if it is not doing like so in before itself they have to sharing their profit as equally next right to receive interest so already we have studied you know so the every partner has the rights to receiving the interest on their made the investment so on the investment level so they have able to get the interest for receiving the interest also they have the special rights and the interest it also must be mentioned in this document document i mean so the partnership deal if it is not mentioned in this partnership deal the 60 percentage of interest per annum have to received by the any members from this organizations next the right to be indemnified so every partner has the right to be indemnified by the firm for all acts of other partners in the ordinary course of the business so all the partners are doing some of the business or some of the individual partners will be doing all the activities on behalf of all the members suppose if all other partners if any of the other partners are doing some mistake and because of that if any of the problem is any of the loss is arisen so the individual persons can have the rights to be claim the indemnify from the business organizations next the rights to use partnership property for the business organizations so in this business organizations so all the partners may have 
bought some of the properties for example the car or some of the property may be bought so every partner also has the rights to use that partner partnership property for the business purposes so without business purposes they should not use this partnership property for their own but if they want to doing something unrelated to their business activity they can use their property this is right to retirement so the age and the process of retirement already has been mentioned in this partnership deed so on the basis of mentioned age so every person has the right to get the retirement from the business organizations so after the after getting the retirement so they has some of the rights to claiming the pension and this other type of the incentives from the business organizations next the right to continue right to continue mean so as we studied before itself some of the partnership come to an end with the dissolve of the other partners but in this course if any of any one of the partners are not having the like to dissolving the partners and if they want to continue the organizations they can continue after dissolving by other partners okay so every partners also has the right to continue their business organizations after dissolving the partnerships okay so nine nine rights are there among the partnerships so today we will study some of the duties of partners so what are the duties have to undertaken by the partners so duties of partners when they have the rights to doing something in the same time they have some of the duties see this all duties must be carried by all the partners without fail so first one of the duty is duty to carry on their business so every partner has to carry on the business of the firm to the maximum advantages of all the partners so here even if more profit is earned by a single person the profit is going to share with all the members okay so all the members have to carry on their business activity with the objective of earning more profit even some of the partners are not doing as not activity not not doing the business activity as a active so a single partner has to carry on their business activity as efficient way for the purpose of climbing or sharing the profit with all among the partners so the maximum advantage is also have to share with the other partners so because of that some now some of the members will not get the interest to carry on their business and they will go to the other business so in this area if some of the other persons or all the persons are lost their interest the business activity wholly will be dropped so every partners also has to do some of the duty to carry on their business next the duty to be true so every partner must be true for their other members other partners just and faithful to one another so any one of the fraudulent activity of one partner also will be affect whole partners in the partnership organizations okay so everyone has to be true and just and faithful to others so there must be at most good faith in the fair dealings so without knowing of other partners no single persons should not have the dealing with the third persons and what are the accounts are going to maintain so we have to expose with the openly so in this in such a way so all the partners have to be as very truly next is duty to render the true accounts so a partner is bound to keep and render a true and full accounts of the partnership 
because some of the even if there is more partners are there any one or two partners only will have the more knowledge and the skill to maintaining their accounts so in this time so that persons are having some of the chance to make the fake accounts okay so this fake accounts is also will be affect the all the members in this business organizations okay so even though the partners must be keep and renting their true and full accounts of the partnership to other partners he must produce relevant vouchers for the expenses incurred by him and hand over to the firm all amounts which have come into his hands as a partners okay how much amount is came into the business organizations or how much amount is spent to the spent by the business organizations everything will be submitted to their business organizations and all other partners have to get the good faith on any one single partner so as to get the confident next duty to indemnify the firm so every partner must indemnify the firm for any loss caused by his fraud or willful negligence in the conduct of business suppose in this business organization if any one of the partners are doing some of the fraudulent activity or some of the losses is arisen because of the willful negligence he has to take the duty to make the indemnify to the other partners because other partners will not take the responsibility to during the loss caused by a single person okay so all the partners also has one of the duty to indemnify the indemnify the firm next duty the share the loss so every partner is bound to share the losses in the agreed ratio in the absence of an agreed ratio it must be borne equally so without having any one of the separate persons reasons unfortunately some of the problems or some of the losses will be arisen so if it is any loss arisen so all the partners have to take the equal responsibilities so otherwise if it is not possible to take the equal responsibilities they have to mentioned in this partnership deed so on the basis of mentioned ratio amount of the sharing loss so the partners have to loss have to share next duty to claim remunerations so no partner including a managing partner is entitled to, to any remunerations so the remunerations may be in the form of salary or commissions or incentives in any of the way for the work done by him so unless there is an agreement to the contrary okay so if there is no agreement in the controversy so all the persons also have to get the duty to claim the remunerations next duty not to use fans property for personal use so all the persons are having the rights to using the fans property only for the purpose of business activity not there not for their personal use okay even if it is any urgent or most urgent so the partners should not use the fans property for their personal use if any one used in any one of the time then automatically all the members will use the fans property for their personal use and all the income and some of the misunderstanding also will arise among this partnership organizations next duty not to carry on competing business competing business mean no partner can carry on a competing business if he does so he should surrender to the firm all profits and back him in such business so no partner is allowed to earn secret profit okay so even some of the partners are having the specialized skill to conducting the 
partnership organizations along with the separate organizations so the other partners as partners will not allow to doing like so okay so no partner should make the special or under dealing with the third parties and if any of them doing like so they have to submit the profit to other profits other partners okay so so because of that they will make the competing competing business so next is duty to act within scope of his authorities so every partners has the specialized duty a specialized task to complete their work so all the partners must be complete assigned to their work in the same time that no partner should going to or intervene to other partners work on task so when they are doing like so some of the specialized work will be fail and the productivity of the labor also will be reduced okay so all the partners must act within the scope of his authority so beyond their scope no partner should go to the another area next duty to consult other partners so no partner can assign or transfer without the consent of all other partners his interest in the firm to any other person so as to make him as partner therefore okay so all the partners can have the right to make the consulting with the other partners before assigning or transferring his interest in partnership but in the same time some of the partners will have the special or some mutual understand so when their mutual understand is earning some of the profit and uh, if it is not make any of the problem so other partners also have to allow to doing the work together okay, for that also every partner has to do it so here the 10 types of the duties are there the 10 duties must be carried out by all the partners duty to carry on business and to be true every partner must be true for other members next render the true accounts okay so one or two partners or all the partners are those who maintain the accounts so the accounts may can must be maintained as true and it will be rendering the true accounts to other members next indemnify the firm okay so all the partners also have the power to indemnify if any of the profit or loss is arised so all the partners have to take the full responsibility like that share the losses so all the partners must be share the losses arised in this business organizations caused by a single or any other causes just claim remunerations so they will have the remunerations the remunerations also will be claimed by other partners next not use the firm's property for the personal use okay next carry on competing business next the scope of his authority consult other partners okay next liabilities of partners liabilities mean already i told in the beginning itself liability mean just to keep in your mind as a responsibility okay the responsibility of the partners okay so first the joint and several liabilities so all the partners also as the different type of the liabilities so first one of the types of the liability is joint or the several liabilities so every partner is jointly and severally liable for all acts of the firm okay for doing some of the activity business activity so all the partners have the joint liabilities and sometimes they will have the several differentiate liabilities for completing the assigned task they have the joint responsibility and uh, completing some of the specialized work they will have the several liabilities and uh, sharing the loss 
to sharing to sharing the laws they have the join liabilities okay so every partner is jointly and severally liable for all the acts of the firm so it means that in case the assets are inadequate for meeting the claims of creditors even their personal property should be made to available okay suppose if the partnership organization's property is not sufficient to give back to the creditors so all the partners must be taking the joint and several liabilities to give back the money to the creditors all together okay because in this partnership no partners no single partner has the rights to making the give back the money okay so all the partners has the joint and several liabilities the creditors can recover their claims from all the partners so the creditors also can able to claim the losses or borrowed or borrowed the money from all the partners next liable for any loss to third party liable for any loss to third party mean some of the loss will arise to to the third party so the firm is liable for any loss caused to the third party because of a wrongful act done in the ordinary course of business it means that every partner is liable sometimes our customer okay so the third party mean just you will remember that third party means to the customer suppose in our business activities any of the customers get some of the loss because of the wrongful act done by any of the single partner so the third party can have can claim some of the losses from the business organizations but the loss is taken by all the partners as together okay so the third parties also can have the right to claim the loss from the loss from the business organizations but the bearing loss is taken by all the partners as together next is liability to the third party to make good the loss sometime some of the loss will be arranged the cost by the third party so the third party is also maybe the reasons to arranging the loss in the business organizations so even though if it is like like so so the all the partners has the responsibility to solving this problem because the organizations cannot doing anything they can have the right to make the legal activities but the loss is must be fulfilled by the all partners okay good so the three responsibilities are there first joint and several liabilities joint and several liabilities means so in any case some of the assets are inadequate for meeting the claims of creditors even their personal properties should be made available next liable for any loss to third party so if any of the third parties affected by the wrongful act with the single partner in the organization so all the partners have to take the responsibility so someone next liability to third party to make the good loss so if any of the loss is arranged caused by the third party so all the partners also has to take the same responsibility okay student next types of partnership types of partnership so different types of the partnerships are there partnership mean the partnership organizations the partnership is one of the agreement only okay so the partnership may be the time okay so the partnership has that different types are one of the agreement or this one of the task in whichever type the partnership will be assigned mean first partnership at will at will mean at willingness 
so some of the partnership will be created at the willingness of the members or the willingness of partners so the partnership formed to carry on business for an undefined period is called partnership at will so normally so without having union of the task or without prescribed the particular time if you are conducting any of the business activity by the willingness of some particular persons it's called partnership at will because on the basis of the willingness of some of the particular persons only the organization is going to happen because normally in our area also some of the hotels will be conducted by some of the friends jointly okay so in this type of the partnership organizations will not come to an end with the short period okay and there is no need to make the agreement also okay this type of the organization so the partnership building organization in other words no time limit is specified for the continuous of the firm okay normally in this constructing building in the constructing industry some of the partnership will be made by prescribed the time limit but some of the organizations without mentioning the time limit they will start at after that that persons also don't know when it will come to an end so without knowing the time of ending of the business organizations if it is continue use if it is undertaking continuously without fail so we can say the partnership is formed by a willingness of the all other partners but this is called partnership at will okay students so the types of partnership for explaining the types of partnership some time will be taken so tomorrow we will go some elaborate okay so today some of the duties and the liabilities of partner the duties of partner and the liabilities of partners is there just take this as your study portions okay so in this area if you have any doubt please ask me i will tell you thank you